Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. One of the top comic acts in the industry, Tunde Uzma, who is probably called Okele, has built his own mansion. This is one man that does not blow his own trumpet. Okele has been in this industry for quite some time. He has successfully carved a niche for himself, features the movies back to back, produces his own movies, and get some endorsement deals. So it is not shocking that the Nollywood star built his own mansion. However, this star actor did not still share that news on his own official social media page. It was an account on Facebook that congratulated the actor on this new asset that he has added to his acquisitions. And that post read, Congratulations are in order for the legendary best Yoruba Nollywood actor and comedian Okele or your new mansion. Please help me celebrate him. He will also be celebrated. Which means rejoice with those who have good news so that you also have some good news for yourselves. So congratulations to this movie star Okele. Uh, whose real name is Tunde Usman. A lot of people don't even know his real name. As we see what his house looks like, please stay with us. His real name, as earlier mentioned, is Tunde Usman and he has been acting for over 20 years. He's famous for his comic character in Yuba movies. One of his close pals in the Yuba movie industry is made in Oladapa, which we called Lala. They had been together for years and they support and encourage each other through the trying periods. And he also reviewed during Murphy Afolabi's burial that Murphy was the one who even discovered his talent. Tunde Usman is probably called Ukele even before he produced his very movie called Ukele. He's not just an actor, he's also a movie producer and an MC. He's so good at what he does. Ukele has featured in numerous movies since he enjoyed the movie industry, even though the beginning was not easy for him, but then he stood firm on what he loves doing. And today, the rest is history, is among the top actors. The actor was asked to take the journalist through his journey into the industry and how the acting really started. And according to him, it is a very long story, but to cut it short, I started acting through a man called Amda. I was an electronics technician then, just like the man too, and was also into acting. He used to come to my boss shop. And whenever he's leaving, he would tell us he was going for rehearsal. So I went to him one day and told him I was interested in acting. That was 1994, 1995. He formed his own car course and I joined. That was how I started. Within a short period, there were issues and some couldn't continue. And even the Bible says many are called but few are chosen. So because of my love and passion for acting, I decided to join another car course that's really with. The group was named Triple A. We had three ladies then. I guess that uh, name was after those three ladies, Triple A. After a while, we all went our separate ways. Later, I and some of my friends gathered ourselves and we decided to start shooting series that were shown on TV weekly. Where I was living then, there was one Alaji that was also living that house. He used to work with all TV. I approached him and told him about all the series we had. Just like the series of Baba Sui and Ko used to do back in those days. He said we should bring like 10 episodes. As we were shooting those series, I came in contact with Tumi Din Olarapo, who is probably called Lala. And we came together. It has been over 20 years now that he has been acting. So although he has been in this movie industry for quite some time, but it was not until he met Lala that his career got a boost. On the movie that made him popular, he can't say exactly which one of them because many of it actually pushed him. Uh, but then people call him Okele after he produced that movie called Okele. Okele is a stage name. On how he got the name, he started acting through that man called Amuda and there was a day when they went to shoot a movie. He was given the role of King's Guard. And his name in that movie was Okele. That was how he got that name. Right from that location, people started calling him Okele. They stopped calling him his own real name. A little bit about his background is from Kwara State. He left alone where he graduated from primary school and he went to Lagos State. And that was how the struggle began for him. While he was struggling to make ends meet, he decided to learn a vocation and he chose preparing of electronics. It was that work that led to his decision to start acting. And that is how life is. One thing leads to another before you get to your final destination. As against the challenges that he faced in the course of doing his job, according to him, I faced so many challenges. At some point, I decided to quit the job because then when people ask me to repair their radio, I will use the money as my transfer fare to location. And when I come back, I'll be left with no money. 
And don't forget that I still have to get materials that I will need to repair those radios that I collected from people. Those things were really affecting me and I decided to quit. But la la, me you know, that that stop me from quitting. He will always encourage me not to give up so easily. So Tunde Uzman was almost giving up, if not for his friend Muidin Oladapo, Lala, that encouraged him during those trying period. And if he ever had any regret of being an actor, yes, of course. The most embarrassing one is the way some people react when they meet you. Some might even want to tell you clothes, and it is not every time that we're in, always in good mood. But fans don't want to understand that. Well, people believe that most celebrities can't keep their home. On his take on this, well, it depends on how you start your relationship, and of course, it is not only celebrities that experience that, it happens everywhere. It is because we are stars, that is why it is very obvious, but man is not like that. On how long he has been married, he tied the knot and made things official with his woman, whose name is um, Nyoju Ayodeji on 13th of July 2019 and that union is blessed with lovely kids. A little bit about his background, he was born on 18th of July 1979 into a polygamous home with six siblings, four boys and two girls. As they say, people who grew up in polygamous homes don't really wish that on their kids and all that. The family later relocated to Ibadan, the capital of Boyo State, following the demise of his dad when he was only five years old. He's an actor who is almost free of controversies, however, in 2021, he was hospitalized over an unknown ailment, and his colleague, Sally Bolad Gadi, aka Obuleke, shared the news on social media. Obuleke then disclosed in a video showing the sick actor with some ivory tubes in his hand and a tube attached to his nose. And then he, he had to clarify that he didn't make the clip to beg for money, but to let some of their colleagues stop thinking actors like a boss them being sick to avoid coming to movie locations and people really thought he was seriously ill when the man shared that news on social media platforms. The man himself had to quickly come out and clarify and then shared updates on his health condition. Okele is currently 44 years old. As Ellen mentioned, he was born on 18th of July 1979. And some sites say that he's worth about $200,000. So overall, he's doing very well for himself. We have come to the end of this episode on Okele's new house. Congratulations to this Yoruba actor and comic actor Okele. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.